Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tosi, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave X Vis video. And weirdly enough, maintenance just finished here on Wednesday morning, so we're gonna go over the information that we got for the weekend. Uh, if you guys are lacking some Cactuars or some uh, Gil, here's a chance this weekend you'll be able to farm for one or the other because you can now farm both every weekend, which is really, really cool. So, this is out of the way. Let's move on to the next one. Starting on Friday, we're going to get the Dolet Exploration, which is a Final Fantasy VIII, uh, basically the second part, if you could say so. Uh, so starting on Friday, you guys will be able to fight that big giant machine spider thing, uh, whatever you want to call it. Let's just call him X, because it's going to be a lot easier. The X machine, we're going to be able to kill it. So bring your machine killer. Lightning attacks are going to be effective, Kupo. Make sure to boost your light resistance and you cannot weaken its magic. So I guess you can't break his magic, but you can probably break his attack, uh, defense and spirit. So we're going to go uh, and check once the data mine comes out on that big giant X robot. Uh, so the things we can get right here, 4 star, trust Moogle. So a 5% to any character you want to give it to. Uh, mission completion rewards, complete the quest, you get the force armlet, which is defense 5, spirit 10, HP 10%, spirit 20%. Uh, it's good, it's free, it's an accessory if you guys want to put on your healers. Uh, if you are newer to the game, this thing is actually really, really good to put on your healers or even on your magic cover tank, that uh, extra 20% on spirit is actually pretty, pretty nice, plus the 10 raw stats on spirit is really, really cool. Uh, if you don't use an item, you get triple triad cards, 10,000 of them. Evoke an Esper, Lightning Resistance, 20%, which is actually really, really good. And uh, finish X with a Limit Burst, you get another 4-star Trust Moogle, which is really, really good, because now you can get 10 more percent on one of your units for their Trust Masters. Obviously, sorry, they're going to tell you to use Zell, Squall, Renoa, Ramira. But let's be honest... Eileen could be actually pretty nice here and uh, CG Sakura can be really really nice. Uh, we got more things to do, cover, which is not that many but Domain of Two which is a new story event so if you guys are lacking Christ's for the ability awakening here's gonna be your chance. Whoa that thing went down really really fast. Uh, here's your chance to basically farm some Christ, uh, whatever you need, power or white Christ. Here's what they're saying right here. Uh, you'll also be able to get a limited time equipment on that event so you can get the explosive spear slash blast off it's a 76 attack with lightning element on which is really good because i think the last spear we got with uh, the lightning element it's the thunder spear and that thing basically came out when i think the game came out so that thing is really really old and it's like a 30 something attack so that 76 attack lightning spear is actually really really cool and you'll be able to get uh, some uh, materia for that boost attack when equipped with a spear so the brave lancer uh i think it's going to be maybe a 30 percent or a 40 percent max increase in your attack when you're equipped with a spear uh, i don't see it being more than that but we never know maybe they're going to be generous and give us a 40 percent increase increase in attack when equipped with a spear so uh that's going to be pretty cool i can't wait to see it and i can't wait to see how much percentage this thing is giving us uh like i said especially if you're a newer player in the game these things could be actually really, really good for you. And uh, yeah, time to get uh, time to get our grind on. And because we got a new story event, we're going to go over the last thing we're going to have right here. Featured Summon. And the one, cool, uh, the one thing that's really cool with that Featured Summon, if you do decide to pull on, uh, with uh, 5k Lapis, basically if you're doing a 10 plus 1 Summon, uh, your chance of getting a rainbow goes from 3% to 5%. So... You get an extra 2% chance of gaining a rainbow. Uh, not that bad, but we're going to go over the characters to see if you should maybe pull on this banner. So, the first one, we basically get one 5 star going into 7 star. The girl, the curl rider, Naru. So, uh, right here we can check your trust master first. Boost attack by 25% and boost equipment attack when single weapon is equipped in both ends. So, swift under, that's her trust master. Uh, looking really really nice that boost in attack by 25% is actually pretty good since don't forget because she's going 7 star your cap on uh, your percentage goes from 300% to a 400% when you're a 7 star so getting that extra 25% in attack is really really nice her super TMR is actually really really cool Vaj Raina 
all right i hope i didn't butcher that so it's a spear 175 attack lightning elemental weapon it's a two-handed weapon really really strong especially if you want to build that roberta to do a little bit more damage or if you want to build that nalu that thing could actually be pretty pretty good and one thing to remember guys this banner is going to be there forever so if uh, you do not decide to pull on this banner while well, you still get a chance to get her in a future rainbow or you get a chance to get the other characters in a future blue crystal or in a future uh, gold crystal so they're always going to be there don't be scared you don't have to pull for them right now if you want them go for it and if you don't just hold on to that CGIO who's coming really, really soon. Uh, we're going to go over her featured abilities. She has Forest Wanderer, boost defense by 30% and boost physical damage dealt to beast, bugs and plant monster. She has Thunder Spear, deal partial unmitigated damage and reduce lightning resistance for one enemy. And she has Self-Thought self Spear Art, sorry about that. Boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. And we're going to go over because I have it right here, her limit burst, maxed out at 7 star, she's gonna do an AoE 23 hit with a 1200% physical attack, she's gonna do a 100% imperil light resistance, 100% uh, lightning imperil resistance AoE to all enemies, and she's gonna do an AoE buff to attack by 140% to the party, so really really nice, so you basically break the lightning resistance by 100% to all enemies and you buff your attack by 140% on the other side so that thing is actually really really nice and it's a 23 hit move so if you guys do have two Nalu 7 star well you can chain that uh, you can chain that limit burst which is actually pretty pretty cool uh, we're gonna move on to the next one right here I want to call this guy Winnie the Pooh because he looks like Winnie the Pooh if uh, Winnie the Pooh was an assassin so we're gonna go right here with Winnie the Pooh it's Trustmaster, Whirlwind, it's a throwing weapon, attack 130, wind element, and enables bird killer. Uh, really, really nice. He's a 4 star going to 6 star, so like I said before, you're going to have an easier chance to get him. Uh, that thing could actually be pretty, pretty good for any character that really uh, benefits from throwing weapon. Lightning, uh, lightning. <laughs> Veritas of the Light, or even Renoa, if you don't have her limit, or um, actually her... Um, or weapon to her that thing can actually be good just to boof, boost uh, the magic or just boost the damage that they can do uh, not that bad a uh, lot of HP which is really cool but is abilities itself not that crazy we're gonna go over them right here uh, he has veteran thrower boost equipment attack when armed with two-handed with two one-handed weapon uh, he also has innate dual wield if equipped with throwing weapons. If you give him two throwing weapons, he can hold them without having dual wield. But if you give him, let's say, a dagger or a short sword plus a throwing weapon, he won't be able to dual, dual wield them. So that's one thing to remember. Shadow down, chance of poisoning, blinding, and paralyzing all enemies and damage all enemies next turn. Uh, not that crazy, especially that, you know, you're fighting more bosses and everything. So these things are really not going to be that good. And he has, the, he has Captivating Gaze, Reduce Attack and Magic and Chance of Charming one enemy. The break is good, 45%, but a Warrior of Light has a 45% break to Attack and Magic and Defense and Spirit. So this guy, meh, his Limit Burst as a 6 star maxed out is okay. He's gonna do a self buff of 124% uh, for 3 turns. He's gonna do an AoE 1 hit move. With a 700% modifier physical attack. And that's going to be it. That's his only move. So Winnie the Pooh. Killer Winnie the Pooh. Uh, yeah, you're you're cool. But you're not that great. We're going to move on to the next one. Shinzu. Which is a cool unit. She looks really cool. But uh, same thing as uh, Killer Winnie the Pooh. They don't have that much stuff to offer to the newer character. So her trust mastery is cool. Whip mastery. But how many people actually use whips in this game? Not that many, so we're gonna go over featured abilities. Uh, shut up already, damage and reduce attack and defense for one enemy and enables. Now we're talking for one turn. Now we're talking damage one enemy, boost attack for caster, add earth elemental to physical attack for self and enable hype for one turn. Uh, then she has whip adept, boost attack by 30% when equipped with a whip. So if you do get her trust master and this, you basically get an extra 80% buff in attack when equipped with a whip. But other than that, her, uh, her limit burst 
It's a single target 6 hit with a 500% modifier physical attack. She's gonna do Imperil uh, 60% for 5 turns to 1 enemy. Yeah, that's, that's all she has to offer. So it's not that crazy, nothing great here. Uh, it's a nut. Whoa, whoa, actually, sorry, wrong one. I was reading the wrong one. Actually, level level 25 when you max out their limit burst. Sorry, wrong one. A uh, single target 22 hit with a 1080% modifier on physical attack. Single target 84% in peril on earth for three turns. Uh, good break, especially on the uh, in peril. That's the only thing she has to offer. But other than that, uh, still not that great. Building up that limit burst, using that one character just to get that limit burst up can take a lot of time. And other than that, in her kit, she has nothing to offer to help the party stay alive or basically deal out more damage. So for me, not that great. It's a skip. She's not that good. We're going to move on to the next last one. Ryuka. Uh, seriously, we don't have to talk over his things because that's a three star going to five star. The only thing he has to offer it's his trust master and if you do pull him a lot well you're gonna be happy it's a 125 uh lightning elemental sword that's the only good thing about that character because all of the rest is not that great so if you do pull this guy well that lightning elemental sword is really really good and that's the only thing you should go for so for me this banner whoa i should have just went up for me this banner it's a big skip uh, don't waste your time on that. Don't spend your lapis. Don't spend your tickets. These characters are always going to be there. Yeah, you get a free 3, 4 star or 5 star trust Mughal with the banner. But the chances of you getting that, it's not worth the lapis. Just keep your lapis. Don't waste your time with this banner. Big units are coming. CGIO is coming really, really soon. This is just a banner to be there to fill up some, uh, some time. So don't waste your time with that keep grinding the story if you haven't finished the story uh build up that gill especially for those seven star build up that uh, those cactuars get more of that and uh, keep doing the raid just boost up your stuff that you need for the future seven star that are coming out and don't waste your time with this banner that's my personal opinion but hey if you do want to pull on that banner go for it but for me it's gonna be a big big skip guys on that note if you are new to this channel Please leave a like down below and subscribe for more and let me know down below if it's going to be a skip for you or you're going to be able or you're going to want to pull on this banner. Like I said before, for me, that's a big skip. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Have a nice day.